Hayden Scott Benner says Monday's shooting was like a scene out of a movie. You know, I didn't know that would actually happen in real life. Brazos County Constable Brian Bachman went to 211 Fidelity Street to serve Thomas Kafal III eviction papers. Then shortly after his arrival, Kafal began shooting. Kafal then began shooting at other victims in the area and at College Station police officers as they were approaching the scene. The crossfire, which lasted for around 30 minutes, killed Constable Bachman, a civilian 51-year-old Chris Northcliffe, and the gunman. Three other police officers were wounded in the line of duty, as well as Barbara Holtzworth, a 51-year-old mother from Houston who was moving her daughter out of a house nearby. More than 24 hours after Monday's shooting, police and investigators are still on the scene at Caffel's house trying to find as much evidence and clues that may give them a reason why Caffel came out shooting. During the investigation, officers recovered several long guns and pistols from the scene. These are photos we found from Cafell's Facebook page that show some of the guns he owned. You know, he might have had a mental health problem, and you know, it's just not something you expect. You know, I didn't expect to wake up yesterday to, you know, a bunch of gunshots. His mother had also told police Cafell had withdrawn from the family after quitting his job in January, and they worried he might attempt suicide. A vigil was held last night on Texas A&M's campus to remember for the victims. Funeral arrangements for Constable Bachman are still pending, but Governor Perry has asked that all flags be lowered at a half-staff Wednesday in honor of him. In College Station, Lauren Holman reporting.